awards for my recordings. I won the Awit, I won the Aliu, etc. And I was a presidential awardee during the time of President Ramos when I used to live in New York. They had this award called Pamana. It's presidential award for Filipinos overseas. So oh. those are some of the things National I got. National artists. Yeah. So you you are when it comes to concert piano playing, you, no one's up there with you. Do you have oh, you seen there. like the next person who may like inherit who may, like, half or, of you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not the best person here. Definitely. I told you, he's so humble. It's so hard to get. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. There are many others who play. Are there? Of course. Really. You have students? Well, I have very promising students. Mm -hmm. I have what is peers the youngest? Okay. My youngest student is, uh, right now, is, it used to be eight years old, but she stopped. Ah. So my youngest student is now 14. And the oldest student that you've had? Na had? Yes. 95. The one who had her concert? 95. 95. Well, she passed away already. Yes. yes. Wow, amazing. And she played something like you know yes concert uh, concert material well she was a graduate already during her time mm -hmm. she was a busy graduate but when she got married well according to her she stopped playing to devote her life to her husband and her family so her musical activity was limited to teaching mm -hmm. but not performing so when her husband passed away she was miserable for about four years until she was uh, Brought to attend a concert that happened to be me, uh -huh. and so she was inspired to play again. And so she asked if I taught piano. I said, "Yeah, would you like me to listen to you?" I said, "Wait, can I can I have a lesson or two or something like that?" And that started it all. Oh, how nice! So it was uh, actually so life. fulfilling. Not in, not only in the sense of making her continue music again. But in reviving her yes, life, really. bringing back life. Yes, bringing piano. back life. Who do you think is your biggest fan? Who do you think always comes up to you and says, "Doctor Roll, I'm your biggest fan." <laughs> I cannot name Secret. names. <laughs> Secret. Secret. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just like earlier, Cutie, I remember you said uh, maybe if I had a better piano teacher, I would have learned. I was going to say, Who's your piano I, teacher? I hope that your piano teacher is not, not listening right now. <laughs> no, I hope she's listening because I could have been a bit, I would have still been good at Sabi piano. Na lang natin sa sa pangalan. Pangalan. Actually, I can't say it because I don't even remember. <laughs> good. No, my question is like, we, we often buy CDs that, and because we want to listen to piano playing and I for one even at the mall if there's somebody playing the piano I will stop yeah I say that I, yeah, yeah I don't drink and but I will go to places with piano people yes, playing the piano yes. because I just want to listen do you ever listen to CDs of piano playing or you just rather practice instead of doing do that well, sometimes I listen also uh, there are moods there are moods usually when I eat I don't want to listen to music Oh, I want to concentrate because the thing is, if I listen, if I'm eating and there's somebody who's playing, my concentration would focus on the yeah, and you won't on concentrate notes. on your food. Oh wow! And <laughs> after that, you'll eat some more because you didn't taste the food That's that right, you were eating. That you forgot well, that you already people ate. people play piano playing pieces. I mean, just like CDs because they don't unless they'll have you there during meals. That's yes, like the time yes, they yes. they put music on. Right? Yeah, well, especially formal dining. Well, especially for classical music. Classical music is really meant for listening. Uh, some of the popular music would be meant for background, you know. Uh, and I have recordings also of that. And I'm not offended if I, I used to have a job in New York where I was playing in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. And uh, I knew that people went to the restaurant not to hear me, but to eat. And then, incidentally, I was there, so oh, sometimes that's so they would listen. Hard. So it depends. Now, if uh, if I am playing, for example, in a gathering, and they say play something, so I play, and then people are talking, then I get offended. Mm -hmm. Of course. But when I'm playing but in the, the restaurant, but the party happens already. Well, it used to happen it, a lot of times it, for me yeah. when I was younger. You know, it's like, yeah. but I, not, not I think not in you. the past ten years. But, I don't think. But so. also, singers, performers, people just talk and talk. Yeah. Well, it still happens but I'm sure occasionally. But it hasn't happened lately, right? It still happens occasionally, Kitty, because sometimes I have to accommodate friends of mine who want to play, oh. who want me to play at a wedding of their son or daughter mm -hmm. or something, or 
in a go in the golden wedding anniversary so yes. people are there about 200 300 people are yes, there in the yes. ballroom to all talk about themselves but, yeah but that's true. To the music, well some yeah. people listen but you know you could hear the murmur of others mm -hmm. talking so but when you were a kid did you think you were going to become a concert pianist what did you think yeah, you what, were what did you want to be well my interest in math actually surfaced earlier when I was in my mid-elementary years, grade 3, grade 4, I used to win the gold medal in this arithmetic contest Indeed. at the Ateneo where I took my elementary Congratulations. Wow. Thank you. So you thought you wanted to become a math? Well, I was interested in that. and But, you know, my father who was a doctor. You know how it is. You know, what's your ambition to be like my father then? So mm -hmm. sometimes when, when I would be asked, what is your ambition? To become a doctor. Why? Because my father is one. You know? Because so my father no brainwashed <laughs> <Not>, <laughs> Well, no. He never did. <laughs> no, but most parents at the time did. Mm -hmm. Well, it still happens these days yeah. when people are forced to take something. And now as the dean of the Conservatory of Music, I have encountered a number of cases where the child is uh, forced to withdraw from our college and of course i would interview them a little why what is it yeah. are you having a hard time here no 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 it's because my mother said that uh, she wanted me to take another course another because course. You, know, That's so sad. you know the common impression or misimpression that music will just make you hungry of course yeah. that is not yes. true at all because you know i can advertise it now that musical graduates music graduates actually have better prospects for jobs especially for teaching oh yeah in mm -hmm. fact we never run out of job openings for musicians uh -huh. okay. so there you guys ha there you have it so maybe they can never go to USD and be apply a starving artist yeah <laughs> so me if you're a musical can well a musical artist chances are you won't starve because the highest demand is for that yes. not only here but around the world right so for those people watching that aspire to come close to what you have achieved what's your word of advice before we say goodbye well you know the cliche practice 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 mm -hmm. but uh, more than that i think uh, it has to be combined with your own uh, enthusiasm for it your interest your dedication your commitment as with anything not only with music i think success comes not only with your inner talent or expertise but more so with your dedication the love of your craft and that would make life easier for you too because you know when in, when you enjoy doing something then life would really be better oh, after all well he's said. achieved his feet are planted firmly on the ground i know right? for somebody like him so admirable and unfortunately really we still don't have the piano and yeah. the door is still too small we're just going to have to invite him a second time and make least, sure we have a beautiful piano that, when we, that he doesn't have to go like this <laughs> after playing <laughs> Right. <laughs> so thank you very, very much for all Thank you for too, Jackie. Thank you, Cutie, thank for inviting me here. Really I look pleasure. forward to our next meeting yes, with, with we the do piano. Too, with next the piano. Time. Yes. This time we listen to you talk. Sure. Uh, yeah. we, listen, we don't talk, we just listen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we will listen, <laughs> promise. Join thank us you. again next week at She Said, She Said. Have a nice weekend.